Hi, my name is Oscar and I'm a scientist. In today's video, we're going to have another conversation with a do-it-yourself petitioner. Said applied with no lawyers from abroad, from Pakistan, and received his I-140 approval only after responding to an RFP. Let's jump into it and learn more about his case. If you are an EB2NIW applicant, I would love to hear your story, so drop me an email at oscar at eb2niw.info and let's start talking. Saeed, thank you so much for joining us today in this conversation. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So, Saeed, um, I don't know you as all these people I'm interviewing for the channel. We don't know each other personally. I know just a little bit about your background. I know you are in data science. You applied from abroad. So, can you give me a little bit of background on what you do and where you are? Yeah, um, basically, um, I have uh, 15 years experience in uh, data science. I started my career 2007. Uh, I did a Bachelor of Computer Science and uh, after I did a MBA from uh, UK. And I, uh, in professional career, I started 2007 from uh, my interest in statistics uh, uh, that time. So I, uh, you know, interest uh, going to uh, data science. Uh, so last 15 years working in this field, uh, using uh, different programming skills, uh, C++, C Sharp, Python. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now I'm using Python. Yeah, I, I get that you, you um, are a master of all these computer languages, but for people that don't know much about your field like me, what is the application of, of what you do? I develop a lot of application uh, in my my last 15 years career. Uh, mm -hmm. My new application is uh, uh, medical, related to medicals, uh, yeah, criminals, because mm -hmm. find out criminals uh, in, uh, in use on warehouse. Uh, is a lot of benefit because uh, you know a data analyst uh, is a career is very broad. Uh, so if you see uh, people, uh, you know, crime is a uh, you, you stop the crime. If you have, uh, you know, is 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 very good career in, uh, in data science. How did you knew uh, about this option for moving to the US? Yeah, uh, basically, I I submit my application uh, twenty September. Mm -hmm. And uh, that time, I I just watching your videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, I I don't know uh, too much uh, about uh, this visa, but I just submit. And after uh, one month, I I got RFE from USCIS. And then I I buy your ebook, and then I get a lot of knowledge from your ebook. And I found resources on uh, Google, and uh, I. I use my research uh, on, on this, uh, you know, all petition. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so I develop a petition myself. I use your resources, uh, you know, and three months I just uh, do myself after, <laughs> after RFE. And then I submit my RFE 23 January. After one month, I got approval. Let, let me stop here and say congratulations, first of all. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so uh, you, you just described like what kind of resources you use. By the way, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that, that you benefited from uh, the information I put out there. Um, did you also use some professional help from lawyers, consultants, something like that? No, no, nothing, nothing else. I just uh, use uh, your resources. I use... Uh, uh, Google, <laughs> use Google, YouTube, uh, just watching. And uh, I just mentioned on my, I, I start my petition, I just mentioned my uh, career information, uh, mm -hmm. what I what I did in my career, what I developed uh, uh, software in my career. I use my search uh, in my career. Just I mentioned all of this and and mm -hmm. what I what my plan in future well, that, that's excellent. I didn't know any of this. So as we talk, I'm learning more about your case and, and it's, it's great to hear mm -hmm. about your how you overcame the, the RFP. So I'm going to ask you about this in a second, but mm -hmm. before we get into the RFP, let's talk about prong number one, which is your endeavor and mm -hmm. why it's important. So what did you tell USCIS that were, you were going to do in the United States? 
I uh, quote my experience in uh, my field. I use my uh, software, what I did in my career, what I developed. I use my research and uh, what I is basically is, is uh, this wrong. Uh, you need to uh, explain uh, what your what you did in your career mm -hmm. and and what and is more benefit for us uh, how can yeah. we give you more benefit to us yeah yes. exactly so so what areas of national importance did you mm -hmm. did you touch on i touch on uh, basically on the crime uh, side because you know we need to stop crime how do we stop crime mm -hmm. uh, using technology i see i see and um so did you use in your petition uh, a business plan or did you use a professional plan how did you develop that uh, plan yeah uh, it's basically is a second form i mm -hmm. mentioned my business plan so yep. i just mentioned what i what my plan in future my business plan i mentioned data analyst mm -hmm. so uh, data analyst is a very big uh, you know big uh, future in the us next 10 years I just mentioned my mission, my vision, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and my marketing strategy and future. Mm -hmm. What I will do in the uh, yeah, I yeah. want to target in future. Okay, so that's that's good. You use a business plan on that second prong. We are moving from prong number one to prong number number two. Prong number two talks about your qualifications, how you are yeah. well positioned, right? Yeah. So what else? Need, other than the plan, what other qualifications did you show? I start. I I start prong number two. My qualification, uh, what I doing my qualification and my achievement, and then I mentioned my certificates, what I all uh, uh, career my certificate. I mentioned all those certificates, and after I mentioned, I quote uh, recommendation letters, and mm -hmm. then a little bit I uh, show my, my my business plan, what I mm -hmm. what I what I do in future. How many recommendation letters? Now that you mentioned that, oh, <laughs> seven. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. And and how many would you say they are considered independent versus more subjective? Uh, I using uh, my colleague. Uh, uh my uh, some uh, guys working uh, steady with me i using the commission there and teachers and my colleagues are uh, working with me right now so that's it on, almost uh, uh, seven are you uh, seven okay so no independent letters independent yeah independent no personal independent okay um and let's um let's make this conversation a little bit different than the others because you mentioned you had an rfe and i think a lot of people are very scared of these three letters rfe um you probably mm -hmm. also uh, got a little bit scared when when you got yours so mm -hmm. tell me um what was your rfe about was it about all the prongs was about one and and how did you overcome that rfe Basically, my RFE is uh, all wrong. Uh, it's mentioned all wrong. It's, uh, okay. Because I I did not know uh, what I need what I need to write uh, in my petition before. Uh -huh. And uh, after I got my RFE, and I I do I did research on uh, using your resources. I did research on Google, mm -hmm. and in three months I just did research myself. And okay. after I I. Uh, you know, I complete my RFE, I submit, and after one month, I got yes, yes yeah. So, cool. so basically, you're telling me that you essentially, after your RFE, you basically put your case together from scratch. Mm, yeah, before okay. I yeah, yeah, I did mistake because because I did not know or too much about my uh, uh, what I did need to what I need to write down in form. So yeah. uh, after uh, using your sources, I using Google, YouTube, mm -hmm. I'm watching. That's it. Yeah. Wow, that that that's impressive. And so, um, what would you tell other people that are interested in in this green car category? Uh, any advice for them? What should should they be careful with? I think is a uh, is very good opportunity for your 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 start your career in US. 
because you guys you know a uh, very good uh, opportunity over uh, there business for site uh, is very good opportunity uh, I, mm -hmm. i think it's very good it's very easy for green card uh, mm -hmm. compared to other other visa very difficult to you know hmm yeah, i see and um you are also an interesting case because you are abroad uh, now you are waiting for consular processing right any idea of how long is going to take for you to be called uh, for an interview uh i think so maybe it's taking time uh three to four months maybe i don't know three to four months yeah no okay so i, well, I hear I, some i hear some people uh, they told me uh you're taking time two to three months two okay months, yeah. okay so right um, now right now i got a uh, approval letter from uh, mm -hmm. uh uscis uh, they send me letter and they say uh yes they forward my case on nvc and mm -hmm. nvc contact to me within 30 days and that's it that's okay. why i'm waiting right now welcome letter right now. yeah you're waiting for the welcome letter right yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome well congratulations and i would love to hear more about it when when you get that welcome letter when when you get called for the for the interview that that would be interesting also to to share with others thank you thanks so much if you're like Sayid, a do-it-yourself petitioner or someone that aspires to file your i-140 petition by yourself without lawyers you can check out my website ev2niw.info a website where you can find a lot of resources for do-it-yourselfers to learn how to put together an ev2niw application I have a lot of free information i also have my i-140 petition that you can download Something that Said mentioned that he did himself so he could understand how to put together his petition. I have my ebook, but recently I have something that I didn't have when Said was preparing his petition, and that is an even superior content, an EB2 NIW course that will have my I140 petition, my ebook, the resources he used, but also a series of lectures in five modules that will walk you through the process, through the requirements and explain step by step how to put together recommendation letters, cover letter, and every document that you need, including the forms, for this ev 2 naw process. So I believe that if you are a serious do-it-yourself applicant, you will benefit a lot from enrolling in this ev 2 naw course. I will see you there. But in the meantime, I thank you as usual for your support for subscribing to my channel and share it with others. I will see you in the next video and good luck in your EV2NAW journey.